Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to be ranking my 2021 fits for the year. I'm basically just gonna be explaining where everything is from and then just kind of like what I like about it, what I don't, what I do to make it better. And then a ranking. I don't know. I have like a bunch of outfits. So I'm probably gonna have to go through them really fast. So let's go. All right. So first up, I this is my favorite top that I own. Probably it was from the Goodwill outlet. I cropped it. I just love the kind of like graffiti look to it. This leather jacket is super cool. Also from the Goodwill outlet. As are the jeans. And then my boots are from Boohoo. I love this a lot. So I'd probably give it a eight out of ten. Next up, it was kind of when I was like getting into layering. Which I mean, this is barely layering, but like the turtle and t-shirt. I like how that looks. I love the race car shirt. And these are some cool um, cargo pants that I picked up from Goodwill so I would give it like a 7 out of 10. I actually got this jacket from my dad which I think is so cool just like a vintage um like Letterman's jacket. Then these jeans are thrifted as are the top and the shoes. I really like how it looks and I love the silver jewelry with the whole outfit like I love the rings so I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I just love that jacket. Next up I've got this Isaac crew neck but I like how it looks. It's a little preppier than what I wear now but I still think it's a cool outfit. I would give it a 6 out of 10. It's just kind of boring and I wish I styled it with some sort of necklace. Okay so this outfit I have to give a 9 out of 10 just because I made this vest um, then the hoodie is one that I'm wearing now. I think it's thrifted, as are the jeans. I'm just wearing my Air Maxes, and I think it turned out really cool. All right, so this outfit, the top is from eBay, but it's by ASOS, I think. It's really cool. It's a kind of sheer. I was wearing a little bralette underneath. I'm wearing my Air Maxes, and then these pants, or these cargo pants that I thrifted. I think that they like shrunk in the dryer because they used to fit better. Now they just look kind of dumb. I'm gonna give this outfit like a five out of ten. So this is one of my favorite finds from eBay. It's this cool like bandana patchwork top. Everything else is thrifted, and I don't know. I really like like it. I just don't really know how else to style it besides like open with a tank top. I feel like it's just kind of boring so I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. This outfit is one of my favorites. I've really been enjoying like an all denim outfit. I really like when it looks super cohesive with the same wash denim. These jeans have been in pretty much every other outfit. Um, the boots are from Boohoo again. This top I actually made. I just cut out the letters and kind of frayed them and then sewed them on. It's just a thrifted tank top. And then the jacket is from the Goodwill outlet. The jacket actually has like shoulder pads which is like a very cool silhouette that I love. I would give this a 10 out of 10 because I love it. Next outfit I really like just because of the coat. I found this cow print coat like three or four years ago for Black Friday. It was $10 and it is just like such a high quality heavy coat. I'm wearing with yoga pants and a t-shirt which is just kind of random. I feel like I should probably have dressed up the look a little bit more but the coat's just really cool so it kind of was just like the main focus anyway. I would give it a 7 out of 10. This outfit I just got in this acid wash skirt and I really like the skirt but I couldn't figure out how to style it so I tried to match my shoes to my shirt and wear white. I don't like how this looks at all. I give this like a 3. This is pretty much the same as the other one that I just showed that I gave a 10 out of 10 but I'm wearing these cool newsprint jeans that I actually made with like transfer mod podge. I'm obsessed with these jeans. I just think they're, they're really cool and quite unique. I actually wore this to take my yearbook picture because I won best dressed which is cool. I give this a 10 out of 10 too. I just think it's fun. So this is from prom and the dress is actually from Pretty Little Thing. It is one of the only fast fashion pieces that I purchased in a really long time because it's really hard to find formal dresses from thrift stores and like secondhand and stuff. I love this dress more than anything and I will wear it to just about every formal event that I'm invited to and I give it an 11 out of 10. So this is towards the end of the summer when I was kind of exploring like my style a little bit more because this outfit is something that I wouldn't normally wear. I got these boots from Goodwill. The dress is actually my mom's and then the vest is thrifted. I got this inspiration from a video that I saw on YouTube. It was like what people in Stockholm are wearing and a girl was wearing something similar to this and I really liked it. I would give it a 6 out of 10. This outfit is super boring. I think I just like the picture but I just got new Air Maxes as you can tell because they're so crisp. Um, the jeans are thrifted Levi's and then the top is from the outlet but it's just this cool like snap button shirt. Kind of boring but with silver jewelry to match the buttons I feel like it looks pretty cool. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Okay I love this outfit too. This is in the Goodwill dressing room but same vest as before and then these snakeskin pants that I've had for forever. I just really like how it looked. I would give this a 9 out of 10. This next outfit is again kind of different from what I normally wear. I'm wearing the same boots that are kind of like fake Doc Martens. I'm wearing these like weird flowy pants that I got from Goodwill and then this zebra button up that I feel like you guys have probably seen before. I like how they're all just very like light and loose fabric. So I like this, but I feel like, I don't know, it's just not very exciting. I would give it a 5 out of 10. <sighs> Back to the denim on denim fits. The top I thrifted and then just added the Harley Davidson logo. This denim vest I actually thrifted while I was in London, which was super exciting. And then these jeans were the exact same wash and what a great outfit. This is literally 11 out of 10. I'm obsessed with this outfit and I repeated it quite frequently. This is one of my first like going out looks. So I'm wearing this little black bralette, a white button up that was thrifted, my leather pants, and then my Air Maxes and some silver jewelry. I really like how this looks. The leather pants are kind of weird the way that I feel like they need to be styled because they definitely look better 
with tighter things because the pants are so much of a looser fit. So this isn't my favorite ever. I'd give it like a six out of 10. This outfit was the start of my obsession with like maxi skirts. The skirt is from Goodwill and I honestly bought it and was like, I don't even know if I'll ever wear this. And I wore it so much while I was in London. The boots are the same, like knockoff Doc Martens. My purse is thrifted. I know you guys have seen the majority of my race car shirts. This one is from eBay, it's Jimmy Johnson. And then I'm wearing these like fishnet tights that I cut a hole in and made it into like a top. I just think it was really cool. It's a 10 out of 10 look. I'm obsessed with it. This is another outfit that I really, really love. So I got into wearing tights while I was there. This is a plain pair of black tights, same boots. The denim skirt and the leather vest were both thrifted from the same thrift store that I got my denim vest. It was like fill a bag for 10 pounds and this is some of the stuff that I got. I'm wearing this like silver grommet belt that I believe is from Target. And then this little thrifted tank top. I just love how it looks, again, kind of with the layering. I give this like a nine out of 10. I think it's so cute and I just, I just love it. Okay, continuing the trend of things that I thrifted with the like fill a bag sale, I got this little like waistcoat as well, black bralette. The skirt is from Misguided and then the shoes are Air Maxes. I like this. I don't really, the waistcoat I've had a hard time styling and I don't really love how I styled it in this. I would give it like a six out of 10. It's cute, but I probably would not wear it again. One of my biggest obsessions was wearing like baggy jeans and then having like little boxers poking out. I don't know why I think it's so cute. I really don't like when guys do it, but for some reason I really liked doing it. This Harley Davidson top I actually got from a little street market while I was there. And the boxers are, I think from like Walmart. I don't know why I just think this is so cute. This is kind of a similar look with the same jeans, different boxers, and then this other little top that I got from a street market. I would give these nine out of 10s. I think they're really cute. Okay, so we actually had some sort of like boat party thing. I don't know, one of the days we were there, we had to like dress up. We floated on the Thames for like a night. I don't really know. But this dress is from eBay. The blazer is from a yard sale. I just love this dress more than anything. It was in my most recent haul video that I did, but I just love it so much. I think it's so cute. It's very flattering. And it's also nice because it's long sleeved and long and so it's pretty warm. So I'd give this a 10 out of 10. Again, with the denim on denim looks, this time I'm wearing it with this NASCAR crew neck that I actually thrifted while I was there. I think it's such a cool outfit. I guess I'll give this a nine out of 10. I just think it's so cute. Moving on, I got the same white skirt. You're gonna see so many pieces that are repeated because the rest of the year I was in London. And so I literally had like 20 pieces of clothing to choose from. So same leather blazer, the little top, um, the same skirt. This purse is really cool. It was from the same yard sale that I got the blazer. This thing it's so fun, same boots. I just really liked this look. I will say though, we were out one night walking and we had just left the building and coming down the street is a girl literally wearing the same outfit. Leather blazer, black crop top, long white skirt, black boots. And all my friends were like, oh my God, you think you're so unique and that girl was wearing the same outfit as you. So that was very humbling. Um, I'm gonna give this look a seven out of 10. This outfit, it is my friend Kate's shirt that I think is from Shein maybe a little black bralette these pants I actually found at the petticoat lane market um, Which is just like a Sunday market in London. Um, I like this look. I wore it out one night I think it's cute. Yeah, I don't know. I give it like a six out of ten something about it isn't my favorite next up I really do like this outfit as well So I have this double zipper top that again you guys have seen before but it is thrifted the same denim skirt and then the same boots these tights are super cool i got them at the same street market but i just think they're so fun to have like a little floral print especially because the outfit would be really boring without tights or with just plain black tights i'm gonna give this a eight out of ten only because it is a pretty boring outfit but i do really like the tights this outfit i really do love the jacket is actually one of my friends that I borrowed. The top I got from Poshmark. The skirt is the same misguided skirt. I don't know why I like this so much. I just feel like the way that the jacket, because it was a men's cut, was like less tailored than the blazer I really liked. So I would give this a 8 out of 10. All right, this outfit was when I was kind of stepping out of my comfort zone. On one of the weekend trips, we went to a bunch of charity shops and I found two different ties that I really liked. And I had seen this inspiration picture all over Pinterest and I was like, okay, I kind of want to try styling things with a tie. I like this outfit, so I'd give it like a seven out of 10, but I think that in the future I would style the tie very differently because I don't, this isn't exactly the look I was going for. All right, that is it. Those were basically the highlights of my outfits from 2021. I'm really excited to see sort of how my style evolves. So I want to keep making these videos. Um, throughout the years. Hopefully there'll be more fashion videos to come because I've been feeling pretty inspired recently and it's nice to be home because I have so many more clothes than I did in London. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you later. Bye!